table, but this is Ms. Anderson and Ms. Nielsen, and I'm Ms. V. <laughs> so this is our bell ringer, and Becca's going to explain to you how to do it. All right, if you guys could take out a sheet of paper or something to write on, we can start the day with the bell ringer. We would like you to define the two terms of velocity and acceleration to the best of your ability. If you don't remember, it's okay. Take, it, take a guess as long as you're writing something. Um, and then we also want you to provide the units of labels for time, distance, velocity, and acceleration. How many football fields, which is the length of 91.4 meters, does the shuttle cover in the blink of an eye? Okay, so now that we have our word, word problem, <coughs> using the definitions you have, what do we already know? What do they give us in the problem? Josh? The velocity, the time, and the distance. Does anybody okay. agree or disagree? What do you guys think? So if you have any grammar questions, please feel free to ask her because we are looking for that as well. And also remember when you're writing your word problems that, that every one we solved here, was you only solve for one variable. So make sure that happens in your problems too. Only ask her to find one variable. You don't want to get too complex and have to be trying to solve for two things. And this would have found football fields, but if you just wanted to use this information or you put some information. Talk with your group and think about what you want to um, use your problem to be about. Like Leah said, uh, or Ms. Nielsen said, do some sort of idea generation. Do you want to um, use the motion of a space shuttle or a baseball hitting um, out of a ballpark? And so um, talk with your group and discuss what you want to, your problem to be about. Groups of three. Lydia first. Okay. Um, Joe wants to beat the world record of the mile. The okay. mile time, the world record mile time is three minutes and 47 seconds. So wow. he's going to build a machine to pace himself. The distance is 1,609 meters. Um, the time he wants to get is three minutes and 46 seconds, which is 227 seconds. So the um, constant velocity that the machine will have to keep is 7.12 meters per second. Very nice. And so you solved for the velocity. Awesome. That's a great example. Very creative. Um, I can tell they used their rubric. They've had all the right components, and they even solved it. So they were very productive today. Good job, this group. Anyone else have a unique example that they want to share? <laughs> Not after Lydia's <laughs> Typical boy response in high school after, right? Well, that's okay. We, uh, we'll have some more time to work on this if you want to change <coughs> stuff based on Lydia's, you know, up the level a little bit, maybe. I'm just kidding, but, um, so you can hand out your, hand in your ticket out the door um, to Becca, or Miss Anderson, excuse me, before you leave, and you will be good for tomorrow. Okay, let's hear it for him.